Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm doing another makeup, why is my face gone so pink? I'm doing another makeup look, hopefully the lighting will sort itself out, and it is my autumn makeup look. This isn't something that I do every single day, it's just something that I'm going to do, and I'm actually using the Sofex Revolution Extra Spice Palette, this is a really good palette for autumn, and I'm probably going to do some more like autumn inspired makeup looks using different palettes, so today I'm just doing it using this palette. I'm going to start using my Revolution Ultra Base Primer. This is for mattifying the skin, so I just take a little bit of that. With my oily skin, this is very much needed. Then I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to start to buff that in. Sorry if the lighting changes, my camera just starts adjusting for no reason. I don't know why. Yep, see, it's gone red toned again. Right, so now I'm going to go in with... Jesus Christ, what is it doing? I must have pressed something to make it do that. Right, now I'm going to use this Kiko foundation. This is the Gold Waves Fluid Foundation. And I'm going to mix that with some of these Revolution Pro Lightning Drops, just because this is a bit too dark. This has SPF 25 in it, and it is in the shade number two. It is a little bit dark for me, though. This is more of a kind of lighter coverage, which is why I chose to wear it today, because my skin's looking a lot better than it does occasionally. Just gonna pop that around my face. So I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna start to buff that in. The coverage isn't amazing, but that's, you know, the, the foundation, that's what the foundation says it is. It's kind of like, um, almost like a tinted moisturizer. It's very, very light coverage. But that's absolutely fine because obviously, you know, you just pop this on and then you can put concealer on wherever you want to, you know, if you want to add some more coverage. Okay, so that is the base of the foundation. It is not like full coverage. It's not, I would say it's light to medium coverage, but I'm very, very happy with it. By the way, I've got headband in if you was wondering. I'm now going to go in with my concealer and this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is a really, really good one, and mine's in the shade C1. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of this kind of like underneath my eyes just to brighten a little around my nose because that does get a bit red on my nose. Um, and just kind of put little dabs here and there on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. I only like to put little kind of dabs here and there because I don't like to apply too much product because it's just not needed. Okay, that's my base done. I'm looking quite pale, so that's why we need to add some powder and we also need to add some bronzer. I'm gonna take this powder from um, Poundland, the brand's called Makeup Gallery, and this is in the shade number one, translucent. And I'm just gonna kind of, I like to kind of get it on the brush, like pack it on, and then you kind of pack it on your face instead of swiping. And it just means that, you know, your foundation and concealer won't look like some lines. It won't take off any of that product it will just mattify everything. Now I'm going to take this brush and I'm also going to take this MUA bronzer here and I'm just going to bronze up and I am going to add up quite a bit because obviously this is quite pale at the minute. I think I added too much of the uh, lightning drops. Okay, I think already we're looking a little bit better. We're looking a little bit more alive, a little bit more colour. And then we're going to do... <laughs> Somebody just commented on one of my Musical.ly videos saying you can't do makeup to save your life. Thank you very much. That's so kind of you. I have a Musical.ly, by the way, um, on Musical.ly. By the way, I'm using this contour palette um, from the collection. Why is the lighting doing that? It'll change. It'll sort itself out. Um, and this contour brush. But yeah, people are well savage on Musical.ly. I started it because, um, like, TikTok, the owners of Musical.ly, contacted me and they was like, oh, um, if you film eight videos in a month, so that's two videos a week, then we'll give you £100. And they did, which is good. And that's why I started doing Musical.ly. And I think I've got, like, about 1,500 followers on there right now. But some of my videos do really well, like some of them get about like 200,000 views and stuff like that, which is obviously insane. 
compared to like YouTube and everything. But the comments, oh my God, the comments are horrifically bad. Like literally everyone's just like, I don't like your eyebrows. I don't, don't, don't like this. I don't like your eyeshadow skills. Like there is some really nice people as well, obviously. But with that amount of views, you get a lot of hate. And I think it's just people being jealous because you look on their Musical.ly pages and they've got like two followers or something like that. Right, I'm taking this blusher. This is actually my favourite blusher of all time. If you've been a good loyal subscriber to my channel, you'll know. And it was literally just a cheap one that I got off Amazon. And it's in the shade 106 Peach Haze. I don't think this will be, you know, available at, you know, anymore. Because I bought this years ago. So I should probably get a new one. But I just love it so much. And it's just kind of like a nice little bronzy blush. Blends really nicely into your makeup. I'm then going to highlight using the W7 Glow Commotion Highlighter. And this is more of a kind of goldy colour. Um, I'm not sure if it has a shade. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is, what it's, this is what it is. And it looks really, really, really shimmery. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush. Tap off the excess. And I'm just going to pop it up my cheekbones. If I haven't been very talkative in this video, it's because I've got a cold. And also I don't want my makeup videos to be too long because I do have some quite long chatty makeup videos on my channel. Okay, I'm now going to get into the eyeshadow which is basically where this autumn look comes into play. I'm using this palette, um, it's the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette and I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Cookie Dough which is this one here. And it's like a nice kind of transition shade. And I'm just going to start to pop that into the crease. Wow, pigmentation. Was not expecting that. I use this shade every day. I must have put accidentally a bit too much on. So yeah, with transition shades, I always take them quite high. And I like to, you know, keep blending and blending and blending. And then the other side. Yeah, I like to make my eyeshadow quite prominent. Instead of kind of keeping it on the lid, I like to kind of bring it up near to the brow bone just to make it... I don't know, more of a statement really, I suppose. I think I'm gonna take the shade Chocolate Orange, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that onto my lid and I'm gonna try and pop it all over my lid. And then I'm gonna kind of work that up into the crease ever so slightly. Look at all those chickens. Okay, so now we've done that and you know, it's quite pa-bam. Okay, I'm going to take the shade Lakes, which is this really nice kind of khaki green shade in the corner. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to kind of put it on the outer half of my eye. So it's kind of like the outer corner, just kind of tapping it on and then like work it into the crease. It's not coming across too khaki on camera, but it's because um, it's got that, you know, warmer shade underneath it. Plus, I don't want the pigmentation to be too high because I don't want it to be a too much of a dramatic look. So, this is what it's kind of looking like. If I just focus that on my face. Yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. And everything on my face right now is matte. So, I'm going to take the shade Dreams, which is this one here. And I'm just going to kind of pat a little bit of that. And I'm going to put it on the inner part. So, where I put that matte shade. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that. I think I accidentally picked too much pigment up on my brush. But yeah, I'm just going to pack that on the, and just focusing it on the inner part where that warmer shade was. Right in sort of the middle towards the outer part, I'm going to take the shade Aura, which is the shimmery green. And I'm going to kind of put that sort of where the, where the green is. Again, I'm not putting too much on because it's not about really the pigment for these colours. It's about getting a little bit of colour and a little bit of shimmer. Okay, so it's still got those kind of matte shades coming through, which is exactly what I wanted. And now I'm going to take my little fluffy brush again, and I'm just going to kind of finish this off by using the shade Brownies. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that one right in the outer corner, just to really deepen that up. Actually, no, I'm going to take the shade Sweet and Sour, I'm running late, and I'm going to mix these two together just to kind of buff out the edges and that will just make it a little bit more warm toned on the outside we will be doing some blending so you know don't panic yet i know what i'm going to take i'm going to take the, ch the shade um cheesecake which we haven't put on our lids yet today and i'm just going to pop that on the lower lash line because it's quite a nice kind of autumnal warm brown and i'm going to buff that out 
using this brush here so I'm literally just going to blend everything sort of out and seamlessly just so that it's not looking too scary. And then I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to take the shade every day which is this one and I'm going to use this as kind of the inner corner highlight. And I'm also going to use it as a brow bone highlight as well. So that is the eyes finished. I'm now going to go in with some eyebrows and I'm also going to wipe away any fallout that's underneath my um, eyes from those shades but there isn't hardly any so that's good. Now we're going to do eyebrows. I'm going to try and skim through these quite quickly but I'm just taking this Beauty Big Bang um, eyebrow pencil. I'm going to use the spoolie just to brush through my eyebrows. I'm going to take this Veroni kind of eyebrow pomade type thing and this is in the shade medium brown number two. I think this was, you know, came off Amazon or something so I'm going to try and do my brows quite quickly. Once I've done the pomade part, obviously we're going to have to do something with this because it looks odd. And I will take this little palette from Primark and I take the darker shade and I kind of buff it in and then I'll go in with the lighter shade and then go really kind of in so it gives like more of an ombre effect. My eyebrows are always quite prominent and quite strong and I know a lot of people don't like them but I suppose... It's up to whatever, you know, whatever you like, you like, whatever you don't like, you don't like. Right, I've finished my eyebrows, looking quite bold. The only thing I don't like with my eyebrows is when I go like this, and they just look a bit weird. Like, yeah, I don't like that, but if I'm like this, I'm fine, so I just need to remain like this. Okay, I'm now going to add some mascara, and I'm using this one from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Wow Wings Mascara. Sorry about the lighting again. So that's the eyes finished and everything. I'm just going to rub this mascara off my finger because I don't want to get it everywhere. I'm going to use lipstick now and I actually lost my lip liner brush which I'm really annoyed about. Um, so I'm going to take this shade here. This is a collection um, lipstick in a shade 13 Aubergine Kiss. And I'm just going to pop that on my lip. Because we don't have a liner, I can't really clean anything up here. Um, I'm going to kind of tone that down just a tad. I'm going to take another one from the collection in the shade 8, Mulberry Burst. I've had these lipsticks for way too long. And I'm just going to kind of put that in the centre and it's just going to give more of a toned down look. But yeah, that's going in the centre of my lips. And then I'm going to take this metallic liquid lipstick and I'm going to pop that on just so that it kind of matches the eyes a little bit more because it's not really kind of matching. So I'm going to kind of... Hmm, toaster. So I'm just going to finish off using some of this collection Primed and Ready um, Mattifying Spray. Ooh. That's spray and I'm just going to use this little kind of sponge just to buff all that in and kind of blend it in nicely. Okay. So this is the finished makeup look. I'll show you kind of up close and everything like that. So this is my autumn makeup look using the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette. I will do more autumn makeup looks using different eyeshadow palettes, I think. So this is the end result, quite dramatic. It's not something that I'd wear on an everyday basis. I'll probably take this lipstick off when I go out or something like that. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.